Hello everybody. This video is going to be about how even the best intentions can sometimes lead to negative results, especially when it comes to these covers here. So I'm filming it as of the day that I do have all four. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, I already posted some videos about that. You guys know everything what happened. I've been pretty meticulous documenting it. So I got these from, I believe he's one of my viewers, but I also know that he's a member of a Facebook group about Lincoln Town Cars. So he loves these cars and, and I got these from him. So as you can see, they're much cleaner than the actual wheel and, and you all know what happened with my wheel. So, so after I got these, I also, um, another person reached out to me and said, hey, you know, I, I have a few of those. And by the time uh, I already, you know, made a transaction to acquire this, but I'm like, ah, what the hell, you know, he's nice enough to offer it. We agreed on a price and, you know, he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll send them to you. And he did. So by the time I received this box, which is just a few days ago, I already had these, but I figured I would have, you know, a spare. So lo and behold, I opened the box and it's got three so and they're the wrong kind so the idea of this of this video is to kind of just show you the difference between the, the the correct one so i have an 06 signature limited and as far as i understand these rims um, were standard on this car now there's a um there's a chrome clad version which is pretty popular but i believe on a signature limited they were an option and i think on the designer series they were standard and i'll be showing you a, a picture of that so when i received these first the first i did was i looked in the back and i was like oh crap they are the wrong ones just looking at it you probably won't even be able to spot a lot of differences but i will be showing you that indeed there is a difference so let's actually take one of these off and i'm just going to be using whoops i'm going to be using a very basic so here's my keys a very basic pocket knife to kind of just oh, i can't do it with the left hand there you go i'm going to be switching hands here yeah so with a very basic pocket knife you just come up stick it in there and voila it goes just like that so you can see not a lot of effort requires and somebody can walk off with these and i shouldn't be showing you this <laughs> but at the same time if you're watching this chances are you already know how that works yeah no effort whatsoever so let's let's look at this so these are the ones that that are the right type for at least my car you know my 06 signature limited with standard wheels which are just like this and i know they're not in the best shape of their lives i painted them before i started filming uh my videos but you can see they're obviously peeling still and actually with the stuff that's peeling now is the paint it's the paint and primer that i put on there but trust me they were they were a lot more ugly before i did this so yeah, they, they were just like this. You see that kind of material right here? They were all of them were like this. And I thought they were curved, but the more and more I looked at them, they were not. So all right, so let's look at them side by side. So the one right here is the correct one. The one right here is the wrong one. So first, first of all, from a visual perspective, they are the same. Like they look the same. They have the same type of material. But looking at it a bit more closely, check this out. So let's look at the correct one. You see how the little star rays are extended? And this is not a little bit here on the side, but I've, I, you know, looking at it, you'd never be able to tell them apart. But having them side by side, looks like this one is also more straight. This one is more like poofy right here. So yeah, very strange. Why would they do that? No idea. You know, they didn't change the script. It's blacked out because there's some version of these without the, the black lettering here. No clue. All right. So that's that's one thing. So first of all, no sticks sticking out. No rays. And then you got a little bit here. It's like, why would they do that? Don't know. Now, also, I think they're a different diameter, too. Yeah, look. I don't know if you can barely see it. The one on the bottom 
is ever so slightly bigger. I don't know, like maybe like this is the best way to see it. Like I'm trying to point it as straight as possible. The bottom one is sticking out just ever so slightly. Now, if you flip them over, this is where the difference is. So let's kind of put them together. So obviously on mine, you have these little cutouts here for the, for the bolts. Here, you don't. And look how the star is mounted. In here, you can't see them. So you can kind of see the date, 10-3 of 20. That's when I got them. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video, but that's where I got them. I installed them, put my initials there, like somebody suggested. And then right here, this looks kind of crappy. Look at that. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know if I can even zoom in further. You see that? Who does that? Now, it's on all four. It's on all three of them. So it's not like I just got a crappy one. No, it's exactly like that. There's another one in the box. Look at that. So you can kind of see the difference. And because there is no cutout, they do not fit. And trust me, I tried. It was like the first immediate, like when I saw it, I was like, oh, crap, that's the wrong one. But I was like, well, let me try it. There's so many of these versions that I'm like, I mean, they look the same. And I didn't realize the star was different, but I don't care. But you see that? they it physically doesn't fit the diameter of these clamps even though it still has the similar type of clamps like right here and here they do not fit and i think the diameter is a little bit off and plus even if the diameter was correct these bolts may not have fit i think it would have been stuck like this so obviously these are the wrong ones now, now a more careful inspection reveals a different part number so once again uh, i don't know how well you guys will be able to see it let me try all right so you guys can barely probably see the part number for the wrong one caution hand you can't focus that well hand install only and then right up here the production run it this is for 001 and 02 and it's the same one on all of them so it's a 2001, 2002 production run. Now the guy told me that he had these on his 04. So whatever, maybe he had different, maybe he had different wheel design. I, I don't know. Um, but we didn't really go into details like that. But as you can kind of see, now for mine, the, the correct ones, um, no, there's the part number. That's the right ones. Uh, the one that's blacked out. I mean, I'll be displaying it on the screen in case we can't see it. And then the manufacturing run is actually this way. Let's see. Um, no, I don't know how well. It's an 05, 06, and a little bit of 07. So mine being an 06, obviously it fits. But this one, this one being obviously much, uh, you know, older. So anyway, I'm not this. The, the point of this video is not to not to make fun or rip on the guy who sent me these. I mean, I appreciate it. I will. I will most likely just keep them. I am asking him as a, as a filming of this video if he has the right ones with the right back. But it's all in the back. The front can can be different. Bottom line is without this, without the proper depth to these things, they will not fit. So hopefully this this video will help at least you know one of you. There's so many different versions. I really wish that Ford would have stuck to one design, being it this design, this design, I don't care. They should have just stuck with them. And to make it cheaper, like fine, like if you don't wanna black out the Lincoln thing with the little dots, fine, don't do it. But man, for people who are actually looking for these, and, and especially for mine, like the like these are the most expensive ones. These are, are relatively common. I've seen a lot of them, and the price for these are cheaper for whatever reason. Although this is for an older car, so I guess these should be more scarce. But nope, these are way more scarce. So, <laughs> so like I said, I'm, whoops, I'm gonna put it back the same way. There you go, just like that. See, with a finger, it's kind of difficult. I mean, you need really strong fingers to get in there. But with something as simple as this thing, obviously, or any type of thin screwdriver, you go pop, and out they go. And sometimes I see people uh, losing them, too. Like, you know, but in my case, it was definitely theft. So anyway, I hope you guys find this helpful. By no means am I, uh, you know, making fun of or complaining on the guy who sent me this. I appreciate it. 
worst case scenario, you know, I learn something and worst case scenario, I will keep them as, uh, as coasters or something. You know, I'll, I'll need to wash them too. Like I wash, like I wash the ones that are currently in my car, but I'm keeping them in here for now. We'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But one suggestion, you know, use my experience. And before you go out and buy these for your car, whether they were stolen or you just need one for whatever reason, yeah, do your research and, and only go with the part number that that you need. And if you need a part number, then go to a dealership or something or to a catalog that, that you know for sure because these things are rather unique. All right, and yeah, I guess we could we could wrap this up. Oh, and also, if you guys uh, if you guys still want to send me some of your videos about your Lincoln Town cars, I know I had a had about five sent to me as of the date of this filming. You know, send them. I think people enjoy them, enjoy watching them. I think you guys enjoy making them. So, you know, I enjoy it too. Thank you. See you next time.